So what do you think causes successful companies uh, to transition into the mode of killing great ideas, which you discuss a lot in your book, and how can this mindset actually be avoided? Well, it's very natural when you grow big. It's inevitable when you grow big that you need layers. When you're a two-person company, you don't really need a layer. When you're a five-person company, okay, you need maybe one person as sort of a captain and the four people are helping out, but it doesn't matter very much. You sit around a table, figure stuff out. When you're 100 people, you can't have 99 people reporting to one person to get stuff done. It's just, it's not feasible. So you start to need, like, it is inevitable as you grow big and it is the right answer to have layers. So you have to manage that. You want to, re as soon as you have layers, you create politics. I want to get promoted. You can fight that by changing how you compensate people, changing how you motivate them. If there's one thing we've learned in 200 years is that people respond to incentives. If you say, I will only pay you more if you get promoted, they're just gonna fight to get promoted. If you say, I will pay you if your project works, if your idea works, that's what they're gonna do.